Thank you for joining us today. I'm Chrissy Brooks, the Secretary of Grand Island PFLAG, who is co-hosting our event here tonight with the United Congregational Church of Grand Island and Hastings PFLAG. PFLAG is the first and largest organization for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer people, their parents and families and allies. Founded in 1973 after the simple act of Jean Manford, a mother publicly supporting her gay son. With over 400 chapters and 200,000 members and supporters crossing multiple generations of families in major urban centers, small cities, and rural areas across America, PFLAG is committed to creating a world where diversity is celebrated and all people are respected, valued, and affirmed. The Vast Grassroots Network is cultivated, resourced, and serviced by the staff of PFLAG National, the National Board of Directors, and the All-Volunteer Regional Directors Council. We are a community organization, and we accept all individuals, their sexuality, and or gender identity, and try to help others do the same. This is a safe space for all persons. The Transgender Day of Remembrance, also known as the in, in, excuse me, International Day of Remembrance, has been observed annually since its inception on the 20th of November as a day to memorialize those who have been murdered as a result of transphobia. It's a day to draw attention to the continued violence endured by the transgender community. The Transgender Day of Remembrance was started in 1999 by transgender advocate Gwendolyn Ann Smith. It was started as a vigil to honor the memory of her friend, Rita Hester, a transgendered woman who was killed in 1998. The vigil commemorated all of the transgender persons lost to violence since Rita Hester's death and began an important tradition. Transgender Day of Remem Remembrance founder Gwendolyn Ann Smith said, we seek to highlight the losses we face due to anti-transgender bigotry and violence. I am no stranger to the need to fight for our rights and for the right of people to simply exist is first and foremost. With so many seeking to erase transgender persons sometimes in the most brutal ways possible, it's vitally important that those we lose are remembered and that we continue to fight for justice.